So I just finished hooking up a trailer to my truck. I had to get a trailer today because I'm um, going boat shopping. Whenever you go boat shopping, sometimes you need a trailer. Rented a U-Haul trailer. And the reason I got a U-Haul trailer is because I went to one of the local rental places and they wanted like $180 for a trailer. This trailer cost me like $40 with tax and insurance and everything like that. That's a no-brainer. If I were to stick a 14-foot boat in the bed of my truck, even with the tailgate down, that means six feet of it are sticking out. And that's a lot to be sticking out of the back of my truck. So for $40, getting a little bit of insurance that I've got a nice way to transport it to keep it low and uh, do it a little bit more safely, well, that's worth it. And if I don't end up buying the boat, I'm only out 40 bucks. That's not too bad. So the boat we're gonna be looking at today is a 14 foot aluminum V-hull boat. Uh, I think it's from the early 70s. And just so you know, a brand new 14 foot V-hull aluminum boat from Low Boats costs about $3,500. But when you can buy a used version of that boat for just a couple hundred dollars, well, that's a whole lot of money in the bank. The current owner says it doesn't have any leaks and that they replaced the transom last year. So we'll take a look at that, see how, uh, how that is. It has no trailer, but it has a title and that's important and looks like it was recently registered. So uh, it has a lot of things going for it. Been watching it for a little while, communicating back and forth with the seller. Let's take a ride and see about getting a new boat. I'm very excited, I don't know about you. So I've been shopping for a bigger boat for well over a year now. Whenever something's popped up, I've missed the opportunity. Somebody else snatched it away before I could get it. But this particular one showed up, then the seller dropped the price. It seemed like it could be the right boat for me. Two hours later. So yeah, we're heading home now. I got the boat. It's perfect, and it was very cheap. Okay, so here she is, the 14-foot boat. It's a Lone Star. I don't know if you can see by the faded logo here on the side. Just for comparison, there's the 12-foot boat behind it. This thing is a lot bigger. Two feet longer, but it's also got a wider beam. Let's start here at the bow. As you can see, this is uh, broken. What is this? It's called your bow eye, I think. So somebody uh, screwed in a steel one of these at one point in time, which should be just fine. Be nice to find a suitable replacement for that. That's riveted on. Look at this, came with a battery operated bow light. It's kind of nice. Got our front uh, cleat there. As you can see, it's been registered recently. Got a little bench here in the front. And then it has three benches. And all of these benches are wooden topped and hinged and this is a modification that I think the previous owner made uh, put in some aluminum bracing in there to make these storage compartments none of these compartments have any insulation in them but this boat might not have had that from new in the 1970s they started requiring there to be some styrofoam in there to have some buoyancy so the boat wouldn't sink completely and this boat, I believe, is from 1972, so that's like right on the cusp of when those laws changed. So these benches may never have had any styrofoam in them. Also, there is no sticker in the back of this boat indicating weight and size and capacity. The aluminum itself also seems to be in much better shape than my 12-foot boat. Uh, there is no corrosion on this aluminum, and my 12-foot boat is very, very pitted up with a lot of corrosion and this boat here has none of those corrosion issues. The transom on the boat, the owner said that it had been replaced, and if you look, that appears to be treated lumber. So 
I'm not so sure about that because from what I've learned, treated lumber can cause things to corrode. And what we don't want to do is have this corrode back here because it's treated lumber. So that may have to be something I deal with as well. As you can see, she's quite dirty. And there is something missing. So we got a couple of holes here at the middle bench, four holes to be exact on both sides. And I believe that is where probably some bracing came down for this bench to help make the hole a little bit more rigid. None of that is world ending for me. There is a loop on the front and I probably can fabricate or work on getting another bow I put on there someday if I need to. I can come up with some kind of midway support there uh, at the beam of the boat if I need to. And swapping out the wood in the back there doesn't look like it would be very hard at all. Matter of fact, it looks a lot easier to do than in my 12 foot boat. So I'm thinking I can use this trailer for this boat. This is a 12 foot boat on the trailer and you see how long that tongue is. I should be able to move this assembly forward two feet and the bow roller forward two feet and this trailer should be able to hold the 14 foot boat. It's also wider so I'll need to remove my guide posts there. And that's okay, because I made those quite easy to remove if necessary. I'm thinking that we might try to see if this boat will fit on that trailer today. So let's give that a go. To be 100% completely honest, that went easier than I thought it would go. And it looks like it's going to work just fine. Now, there's a few tweaks, I think, that need to be done to this. And I would love your input if you know a bit more about boat trailers and how things should be positioned and set on the trailer correctly. And I'll definitely listen to your advice in the comments about that. Let me show you how I have this set up right now. Here is the distance between where it connects to my truck and that. That's approximately probably two feet right there. And then this comes up and as you can see this can be placed in a variety of different locations. So right now it's up near the top and I have this going over top of the roller and then I have this, I assume that's the bow roller. I changed the angle of that. The old one used to be sitting really low and I moved the bolt down two notches so that it sits at a slightly higher angle that way the bow of the boat is up higher uh, it's resting on the bunks and the middle part of the boat is not hitting here's the edge of the bunk so we're literally probably about just a couple of inches off the back of the bunk so the third bench is just behind the rear axle and you can see the end of the bunk there and the end of the boat so my thinking is that this is a pretty decent setup. I don't know if it'll be too back heavy if I put a 10 horsepower on there. I don't know if that'll make things tip down too much. So I might need to lower some of this in the front. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below as to whether or not that's going to work. So all in all, I'd call that a successful day. You can see my old 12 foot boat back there and the new 14 foot boat right here. 
I'll work on getting that registered and legal and uh, see if we can get this thing in the water pretty soon. And it'll be a great candidate for some of the engines that I have to work on this winter. That's enough for this video. Be sure to subscribe and check out this video right here. It's a good one.